Morning brothers and sisters and those who are just visiting the channel or new here this channel is to promote the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ end times news and fulfill prophecies which there are mostly fulfilled they're all fulfilled up to rapture and we're now going to be in the tribulation or rather we're going to be in the tribulation period very shortly because things are heating up North Korea warns the US war exercise will violate Trump's vow to Kim Jong-un and put nuclear talks on the verge of extinction. North Korea has fiercely condemned planning joint US-South Korea military drills. Well, it's an old one come true. It's funny, but we've seen uh, America back South Korea before, haven't we, in the Korean War? That's some time ago. It was the 60s. Um, and things are coming back again. They won't come back a third time. You know, They won't come back a third time. We're looking into the nuclear age of the end times. Uh, I've no doubt that... Uh, Men will start it. I think demonic will finish it. That's my view. But um, quite a strange one. I haven't had a chance to get an image up this morning. But ice eggs covering Finland beach in rare weather event, weather phenomenon. You know, this is a rare phenomenon, isn't it? The they, they were this they were football size, cut thousands of them, just washed up in the beach. This is salt water, by the way, on the beach. You know, if you don't know the end times, then look out the window. They're all around us. And the persecution of the church. Chinese Christians face spiritual famine as authorities strive flow of faith-based literature. You know, this is in China as well. Now, this is the subtlety of the enemy um, that he'll come and take our privileges. And believe you me, even if you're saved or not, whatever religion you are, your war is not against mankind. It shouldn't be. It's against the enemy. Had we all got together and worked on this from Adam, there wouldn't have been Noah. But now we're in the Noah's second time. We're, we're, uh, God is about to close the, close the door and usher in the end times to finish this off. This is all about a demonic warfare of a magnitude we don't fully understand yet. And praise God that he's got us protected because Jesus is in control. Whatever you're going through, Jesus is in control of everything today but we hear from gospel news global law lawlessness genocide turkey caliphate christian persecution again christians will get persecuted and that's one sign that we know we're in the end times because uh, god says he will not he will deliver us from the wrath so that is the rapture the rapture is the next thing to happen according to prophecy that's uh, the church will be taken away in an instant and a twinkling of an eye. We'll be gone. If there's thousands, millions of people go in an instant, then it's not alien abduction, it's church rapture that's brought that about because that is the plan of God to put this right. We're not in this world. It's not the end of the world, by the way. I just want to say that the Bible doesn't say that at all. It is the end of a particular time, which is known as a dispensation of this church age we've come to the end what's happened is we had the law age which was the jews and then we've had the grace age which is the christians because jesus came in the middle and the jews ignored him not not all jews now there's a lot of messianic jews people turning back to their messiah not ours he just opened the doors and let the anybody who believes in him have faith and have faith in him have salvation sorry and how do we do that? If we confess with our mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in our heart that God raised him from the dead, we are saved. That's the essence of it. And then we have a Methodist church, Western jurisdiction, commits to a safe harbour for LGBTQ clergy. So it's opening the doors. Now, it's, it's adorant. I mean, I, I'm not against any... Uh, transgender, lesbian, gay or anything like that they're all just the same as me I started a sinner worse than them you know um, and I have nothing against them they, they're entitled to salvation because God, it's not God's will that anyone should perish but they have to turn from it they have to turn from what they're doing into forgiveness and then make a transition let the Holy Spirit um, do the rest of the work and bring them to perfection so that you can be presented before our Lord Jesus Christ on that day of the great feast when we will be with him in heaven for that period of time before we return with him to earth and that's another thing I want to say 
after the trip the rapture there will be seven years of tribulation hell on earth like never seen before where leaders and the wealthy who can afford to hide in bunkers or hide in caves it says in the bible uh, wishing that they, that they hadn't started it that, that this lot would fall in and kill them there's no way out they know that all their wealth all their power everything's going to be stripped off them and it will be on the Mount of Olives it will be stripped out away from them the only way they can um, get there is to then turn to Christ but it'll be too late it'll be too, too late Jesus will then reign for a thousand years with his Saints and the remnant of the Jews the 144,000 that's what's on the cards the world doesn't end the world is nigh it's not nigh at all God will replenish this earth with a new creation which will be the remnant of of the humans so you know it's 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 going to be a terrible time is what I'm saying and you don't want to be in it you need to have faith in our Lord Jesus Christ now you need to turn to God through our Lord Jesus Christ because he is the only one that can bring salvation for God so loved the world that he gave his son so that anyone who believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life so even the Jews have had to turn to their Messiah and that's what it's about that's what the whole picture of it is is to do that to come around brothers and sisters this is a Friday morning the Sun is absolutely splitting the trees it's freezing cold that's not an end time sign that's normal weather for here uh, so it's 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 I just thought I'd get a quick message out and leave you at that but uh, news is coming all the time I just want to thank the Intel and, and and the translators for bringing both the news and to being able to translate in Spanish and Portuguese if you're a Spanish or Portuguese and you want to leave a comment in any of them languages they will answer you back in your own language to save you struggling or googling and they will bring you on to salvation so bring on to salvation you guys that's our job is to bring you in is to let you know the message we can't carry you in you have to go to Jesus yourself and ask for forgiveness as I've said before you will find salvation scripture in the description of this video if you need to know more then please ask on the comments or anywhere you can find us on social media and someone will come back to you and guide you through and all I can say is that is may God bless you and keep you Make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you this day. God bless.